Here I'm going to show you how to link data between two workbooks. Now what I mean by that is say you have a bunch of data in one workbook that you are continually updating but you want those updates to also occur in a separate workbook. Well that's not too hard to do. All you have to do is to link the cells between the workbooks. So first what you need to do is to create two separate workbooks. Here I have one called link example and another one link test. So here I have a set of data sales projections and actual sales. I have it for 2006, 7, 8, and 9. And then I have some numbers here. But I don't have all of the data for the actual sales yet. So I need to fill some of that in. Now you have to have both the files that you want to have the original data and the file that you want linked to the original data. You have to have both of those saved first. So make sure you save those Excel files. And the other thing to note is the way I'm going to show you how to do this today, make sure that you only have one Excel window. So what I mean by that is completely close Excel, then open the program with the Excel file you want, then double click the other Excel file. Don't open the Excel program separately because if you open it separately it's going to give you two separate Excel windows and it's not going to link properly. So now what I want to do is I want all of this linked to the other worksheet. How you do that is go to the worksheet where you want it linked and find out, put it wherever you want. I'm gonna start the data say right here. Then go equal sign go to the window menu button at the top, click that, expand this, and at the very bottom you're going to have a list of all of the Excel files that are open currently. The check mark is next to the one that you are in, so I want to go to link test. Go there, and now I'm going to select a cell to copy. So I just click once and then hit enter, and it takes me back to the original worksheet. Now here, this cell is copied. It's linked to the other workbook. And I can tell that by looking up here in the formula bar. It says equal, and then it has two brackets, linked test.xls, then sheet one exclamation point, then the cell reference for B4. So you can tell that the data is there. If I double click on the cell, I'm going to see the data. And now one thing to note is you cannot copy actual formulas. You can only copy the cell values. So it, say I put a formula over here in link test anything and then I link it to link example. The formula will not show up, only the value. But now I want to get all of the data, not just one cell. And I could just keep going equal sign, then window, navigate to the other tab and select it there, but that could take a while. So the way to get around this is double click the first cell you copied and take the dollar signs out from in front of the cells. So remove the dollar signs. Before I had dollar sign B, dollar sign 4. Now it's just B4. Hit enter and drag that down then drag it across. Now I want to get these two also, so I'm going to drag it up and over. Oops, one more. Okay, now all these zeros just mean that there's no value in the other workbook there. So just go ahead and delete that. Also note, no formatting carries over. So only the values. I have to redo the formatting. I'll redo this. and now the data is completely linked. So I want to change this on the original file. What I'm going to do is go back to link test. I now know what the actual sales were. Say the sales were 1400. Now when I go back to the linked spreadsheet, there you go, 1400. So it's updated.
Now, there are a few things to note here. I could just stop here and say the data is linked, but if you want to know how to, say, troubleshoot any pr particular future problems or how to break the link with the data, what you need to do is go up to the Edit menu, then go to the very bottom where it says Links. Click that, and then this will pop up. So what you have here is you have the worksheet that this worksheet is linked to. I'm linked to link underscore test. It's a worksheet update status unknown. So what I want to do is check the status. I click check status. Source is open. And that's because I have that Excel file open. So you can also update the values. So if I'm not sure if all the values in my current worksheet are up to date, just click update values and that'll ensure that they are current. Also I can change the source. So if I want this to refer to a different Excel file now, I can select it from my computer. Additionally, I can open the source. So if I click open source, it's going to open link underscore test. It's going to open that worksheet. That becomes more important if I have many different worksheets linked here. I can select which one I want and open it. And also the break link. Now, when I click the break link, you'll notice that this little guy pops up. And it basically says that when you break the links, uh, the current worksheet is going to retain the values that you see. So it's not going to be able to change anymore. And also, you can click the startup prompt. And here you can choose whether or not to have Excel update automatically when it opens, or to ask you, or simply not to update. So you can make it so that every time you open it, it's automatically updated and it doesn't ask you to update or not. So that's just about everything there is to linking. And um, one other thing I'm going to show you is, if this is a little confusing linking this way, I'm going to make these windows smaller and put them side by side. So. I want to make sure that, say I create another thing over here, equals today, open close parentheses, just a formula to give me today's date, and I want to link that over here. I don't know why, I could just enter the formula, but say I did. All I'd have to do is equals, click over here, then click the date, enter. And the data is linked just like it was before. This might be a little bit easier for you, especially if you make the screen a lot bigger so you can fit multiple ones of these on one screen. So that's how you can link data from two separate worksheets.